Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 35. <laughs> Sorry, I had to surreptitiously double check uh, my rundown sheet. Episode 35 Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. We've uh, been encountering some difficulty on the surface of Telos. Uh, we, we have been technically make, technically making progress, but um, yeah, I, I wouldn't necessarily call it the best progress. And before I forget, I want to go ahead and put the uh, Stealth Field Enhancer on Mr. Beodur. Because you can disarm mines while in stealth and it doesn't break your stealth. Ooh, an immunity belt. Ooh. It's going to hurt his attack, but that's not why he's there. Let's do that. Oh, wait, no. She's already got the stealth feel. Oh. Maybe I got the wrong stuff. She's the one that's got the... Uh, and she can't use the field enhancer. Okay. So instead of the immunity belt on him... I am going to put it on her, which will probably help anyway, because she dies awfully quick. So she now has the immunity belt, and I can give him the stealth field generator and the stealth field enhancer. And that means that I can send him off on uh, mind disarming operations um, solo. All right, uh, that's everything, almost. I don't want to interact with the computer panel just yet. I want to finish clearing this area of enemies and then we'll, uh, and then we'll go from there. Everybody's combat capabilities just about back up. So let's go ahead and, uh, let's do the shindig, huh? Shall we? Come on. Knock him out quick. Oh! <laughs> In stereo. And what do we have here? We got an Arcanian energy shield. Always nice. Okay. So that means there's no more remains to pick from over there. There's nothing we can do with that door over there. I hate the blur that they give you with the uh, speed boost. Alright, uh, is there any way to fill in the map back there? Is there anything in there? No. Anything in there? No. Although, usually if you can't get back to an area, they fill in the map when you can. But, uh... I, I guess that area is just a mystery? Yeah. It really looks like we should be able to get back there at some point. Alright, let me finish filling out the, the map below the panel and then we'll uh, interact with the the computer that we recently liberated. Huh, no way there. Nothing we can do with the door. So why are they standing in front of a door you can't open? Maybe that's something we can open later. Yeah, all right. Or maybe it's something that we get when we talk, uh, interact with the computer panel. All right. Surprised that body hasn't disappeared yet, too. All right. Computer? Hopefully I'll be able to access the shield network from this console. Good. It's functional. And my passcodes still work. Now let's find your ship. Ooh. Uh, I, I like hearing that. Alright. The security force said the Ebon Hawk wasn't at any sanctioned landing site. What makes you think you can find it? The TSF probably thinks the ship was put down in the wastes, but they don't know the planet as well as I do. Telos's atmosphere has been turned into acidic vapor. 
Landing a ship in the wastes would be like sealing it in a hangar full of hungry Minox. So that means there's probably an unsanctioned landing site somewhere on the planet. Still shielded, but not a restoration zone or other listed facility. That's why I need access to the shield network. Okay. That makes sense. That really looks dangerous Here, typing with a the sword in the hand, though. In the shield network's power grid. I'm not surprised the TSF didn't spot this. It's subtle. More like an error or random flux than anything suspicious. And what is it? It looks like power is being drawn to generate a shield over a small area in the polar region, huh. but nothing should be down there. Orbital cameras show nothing, just an empty mesa. We should investigate this. I feel this is the best bet of finding the Ebon Hawk. I agree. So how do we get there? That's a little tougher. According to the computer, a shuttle is currently docked inside the research facility. At least there was at last report, though that was months ago. So we don't know that the shuttle will still be there or still working. I don't, but that's not going to stop me. I'm getting back to Citadel if I have to build a new ship myself. No, we got the parts over there. No, oh, that's not an option. All right, what are we waiting There's for? One other small problem. Recently, Zerka teams that were sent into the military facility have not been coming out. But it's not as though we have any choice. All right, let's go. All right, journal entry added. What new journal entry do we have? Uh, information on the Evan Hawk stolen. Okay. And why are you flashing? For the disruptor rifle? It's just a regular blaster rifle. Oh, fully upgradable, which is always nice. Oh, never mind. Unstoppable damage, 1 to 10. That might be worth having handy on uh, somebody. Energy damage. Okay. Nice. Cardio package. Yeah, it might be worth looking at what... Uh, what everybody's got equipped at some very near future point. Ah, it won't let you do anything else from there. Then this place is fully explored and looted. I don't see anything else anywhere else, so... I guess it's down into the hole we go. Hmm... Alrighty then, old military base it is. My notes. Alright, um... Go ahead and save. This looks like a good point to save. Save often. Keep forgetting that he's got that little compatriot over there. Nothing here. Oh no, I know, I know what to do. Isn't this your? This arm of mine isn't just for show, General. Stand back. That's what I was expecting. The were a little surprised when I broke my way out of my holding cell. The shields there were even weaker than these. After you. Okay. And this is where it lets me know that it has, he has the ability to break through various shields with his fist. Alright. Good. I was expecting to find out about that a little bit sooner, but... Oh, never mind. They are going to open up. Zap, zap, zap. I mean, that's why I got the power, right? Oh. Oh, they're not... They're not playing nice at all. Oh, they cut him down, too. Oot. Uh, and none of us have the uh, breath mask. All right. Well, I was expecting that to go a little differently. Focus. I was also expecting smarter target acquisition. 
Not this back and forth stuff. Yeah, I see you've been poisoned. Oh. Are these traps? Power implant and plasma grenades. Dude. What is it? Alright, where's the... And, oh, that's right. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Don't need to... And... One more for speed? Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's take a minute. Let's look at the equipment that we picked up. Power implant. Fortitude and strength. Hmm, what implant do I have right now? The reflex package? Uh, reflex plus one is nice, but... Fort and strength is even better. Especially since strength is going to determine my attack and damage. So there we go. And while we're at it, she's got the reflex. Uh, she can take the advanced combat system. Oh. Huh. Okay, she's got a con high enough. Good to know. As much as having a plus one to attack is nice, and those bonus feats are kind of nice. Uh, reflex isn't helping her that much. Let's try the constitution boast. And let's go ahead and get her the breath mask. That way somebody's at least immune to poison. And, no, and he's already got the biotech, which gives him regen. That, that's going to be good enough. All right. Oh, since I got the dual wielding, let's go ahead and toss an extra blaster pistol in there, right? I mean, that's what the two up and fighting's for, right? And he's doing dueling and she's only got the one hand. All right. So far, so good, right? Oh, and save. Because we actually survived. And I don't know that I can say the same about whatever's coming next. <laughs> Alright, anything in here? No, no. Uh, it's flashing like there's something we can pull from the guy, but apparently not. Ooh, we can get a droid energy collector. Which will be nice when we get a droid. Again. There. Oh. Salvage pack. Ow. Oh. A war bowcaster. That could be nice too. Except for the part that I just poisoned everybody. Uh. What's at the terminal? Slice into it. <laughs> okay. That, that could have been useful a minute ago, huh? Let's deactivate local turrets. Let's download the facility map. And those are our options. I've only got three antidote kits left. And I'm probably going to get poisoned again. Right there. Yep. Let's go. Where, where's your... Oh, there we go. Zap. Throw a heal in there. Alright, come on. Get him. Oh! Uh. We're about to do the endless combat thing, aren't we? Why am I stuck there? Come on. Attack him! 
Wait, why are you just standing there? Oh, useless and stuff. All right, what's in the metal case? Credits, energy shield, credits. Always nice. All right, what's in the backpack? An administrative card ID. That could also be nice. Is that the room I just came through? Or is that the room I just came through? Um. Okay, that's to the evacuation site. So that means north is where I came from. I am heading south. I got a big room. A little bit of a hallway. And then some lab. Oh, oh. Get a lab and workbench. Good, because I got stuff that could be upgraded. All right, and that's it down this way. I mean, I'm going to walk over here in case there's something to interact with anyway, even though it looks like there isn't. Can I loot anything in that body? Nope. All right. Onward and forward. Hello. There's another poison trap in here, isn't there? Does nobody with the high awareness skill see that? Alright, looks like... Uh, I see the indicator. Alright, I guess that's a little bit of a glitch then. Huh. What's behind the military door? <laughs> All right, let's uh, take care of you. Get that energy shield going. Oh. Come on, get him. Stun him! There we go. Alright. Yeah, that would have been useful earlier. Oh, that's empty. Alright. This goes nowhere. Okay, I, I think I need to figure out a way to edit her so she doesn't have that stupid force speed. That seemed like a really good idea at the time. It was not. Inertial inhibitor and a pheromone package. Ooh, that's right. That pheromone package was something that I had on my list based off of the crafting table. Um, and some chemicals to work with. Okay, so that's everything there. That's, yeah, metal case empty, metal case empty. There are no other metal cases. Um, all right, that is nice to have that war bow caster. I, I hope that means I get a Wookiee, but or somebody that I can actually hand that to, because right now it's not a big benefit to anybody that I got. Although it is fully upgradable and it's probably better than the uh, disruptor rifle. Yeah, I mean it is stoppable as opposed to unstoppable more damage when it gets through. We got some shields, inertial one. Alright. Dex plus one, defense plus one. Oh. Mm. That means that I'd have to take off his uh, stealth generator. I'll hang on to that. Now here's here's where I wanted that pheromone package and I might, I probably won't use that when I'm out and about like this, but when I'm in the civilized areas where I'm going to be doing a lot of talking, that's going to bump up my charisma and persuade. So that's going to be one of those things that I kind of keep handy. And some sort of terminal. It appears to be some sort of card. Uh, energy collector. Oh, 
Just a shield. Say just a shield. Is it a really just a shield? Alright, that's the salvage pack empty. That's where I came from. This. This is the next place to be. Alright. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> Even though he's not attacking it with his fist, but. Okay, fine. Alright, we've got turrets. No, uh, nope. Nope. Yep. Oh. There's more than just the one. Come on. Get him. Zap. Zap. All right, at least she's immune to the poison. All right. That means we're done, right? I'm just going to do a little bit of looting. Alright, Druid Machine Interface. I think I've actually got a couple of those. Uh, nothing there. Taking the long way around the trap. Nothing there. We got some remains. Droid Lockout Bypass. What is a Droid Lockout Bypass? Uh, might be time to break down some of this stuff, too. Uh, ooh, computer use and security. I think I've already got one of those, but, uh, and repair. Okay, that could be useful. All right. So we've got our lab station. No new message. Completed quests. No. Okay. I don't know what it's bo bothering me about. Let me go ahead and save real quick. Okay. Now... I need to record one more episode for the week. Here is really where, it, if I were just playing for my own fun, here is where I'd take a minute to stop and uh, see what else I could break down, build, and that sort of thing. Um, ooh, that is nice. Plus one con, plus one strength, but it requires a minimum constitution of 18, and ain't nobody got that right now. Um, oh, that requires a treat injury of 20. We're not there yet, but we're close. Four more levels. But again, that's one of those things that it requires a minimum constitution of 18. Ooh. Hmm, not everybody has that. Um, I can create the bioantidote antidote systems that might be worth bumping up two more because we got the the mask and then a couple of those and everybody be immune to poison with a plus one to con that wouldn't be that bad treat injury is not quite high enough but it is close although not as useful what about that nerve? Oh, okay, that that's just another list of immunities. Uh, immunity to critical hit and plus one alert. Nah, that's the pheromone package that we have, and really the main character is the only one who needs that. So, uh, unless it goes for a massive amount of money on the market, I, I don't see much benefit in making those. 
Uh, we've only got three antidotes, so we might want to go ahead, and that's based off a of treat injury, which is why I'm not worrying about changing anybody out. So we'll create a couple more of those. We got 25 med packs, no advanced med packs, and one life support med pack. So I think we'll keep that. What can we break down anyway? We're keeping the antidote kits, the life support pack, the med packs, the sonic grenades. We don't really need those. Let's go ahead and break down those. I'm not going to mess with adhesive grenades. The plasma grenade I'll keep because that, that's fire damage. I'll keep the ion grenades because they're great for droids. I'll hang on to the reflex packages for the moment, even though nobody's using them. The pheromone package I'm obviously going to hang on to. The advanced combat system I'll hold on to for now because I, I got a funny feeling that I will run across somebody for whom that would be useful. I just don't have them yet. Um, I did end up using the strength boost. And now... Now we get a bunch of frag mines. I don't know that I need the sonic mines. I just need something that I can blow open doors with. Uh, I'll keep both of those for the moment. Alright, what else do I need? Um, uh, could make those. But this is all demolition, so I might have Baradur take a look and see if uh what he can make out of that. I don't need any of the mines. Um, nice to know. Oh, yeah. I can make my own battle stimulants now. Ooh. Ooh, 23. Never mind. That's going to be a little while. That's right, because we just got the hyper adrenal strength, uh, which means we'll get a clarity to 18, 21, 23. Yeah, okay. Every two levels you get. So, um, I'm going to do a little more poking around, uh, that's not going to be on the official episode that, that posts. So here's where I'm going to put the cut. I'm going to go back to the live stream for just the people watching live. And then I'll start up the next episode after I've futz around with the lab and repair station. So, uh, let's, uh, let's go with that. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.